things that would make your blood curdle. I could absolutely make your blood curdle. I mean, your ring record shows plenty of knockouts. Well, I don't want to brag, but that's all it shows. No, you great big manly thing, you. I bet you don't know your own strength. Oh, I've always been a little overdeveloped. Even as a baby, I used to bite the neck right off the bottle. At least, so Mother told me. You have such a rugged physique. Mm, you ought to see me stripped. <laughs> or... Oh, Mr. Shiner, my ex-husband was an athlete, but he had an athletic heart. Oh, that's nothing, that's nothing. My grandmother had a cedar chest. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help liking you. I guess I must have an athletic heart, too. Hmm. Ask me up to dinner sometime. I'm easy to cook for. <laughs> I eat anything. Oh, Mr. Shiner, I feel so givinny. <laughs> what was that last crack? I said I felt so givinny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little take a chancey myself. <laughs> What? Not going so soon? Why, this is just getting good. <laughs> What's the idea of the wigwag? Oh, oh, you wanna play games? Let's let's play post office. <laughs> let's play, let's <laughs> Come here, saucer lip! <laughs> I bet you thought I was going. Hi up, baby. How are you? I bet you thought I was two-timing you. Sort of, sort of kidding you. <laughs> I bet you think that, don't you, huh? Don't talk you? fast, big boy, talk fast! <laughs> she thought we was flirting. Can you imagine that? <laughs> she thought that. <laughs> What an awkward moment. Say, me kid you, me try to flirt with some other woman? Why, the idea is ridi 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 is silly. Isn't this the young lady you brought with you to the party? Yeah. Oh, I understand. We were just having a tete-a-tete. -tete. Mm -hmm. You were having a talk. We were having a tete-a-tete. -tete. You were having a talk. We were having a tete-a-tete. -tete. How do you spell it? <laughs> we were having a talk. I hope you won't misunderstand. If you know what I mean, I understand. You big clam. <laughs> Come here. You and me are going into conference. Ah, uh, lay off me. Who are you, the district attorney or something? Am I to blame because women won't let me alone? Listen, baby, I got if. <laughs> if it ain't one thing, it's another. It'll be both when I get through with you. Am I to blame because the profile slays them? Profile? <laughs> say, with that can of yours, you could haunt houses. Oh, yeah? Say, which one of the Dolly sisters are you? I'm asking you, which one are you? With that face of yours, you'd be safe in a lumber camp. <laughs> When you die, I'll be the homeliest. Is that so? Yeah. Well, every time you open that mouth of yours, it looks like the hanger for the Grab Zeppelin. Oh, fuck. Come here, you ape. Oh, I'm an ape, am I? You're a baboon. Well, that's a pretty how have you been. Now you're getting me angry. Now you're getting me angry. When you start talking about my family. Say, listen, let me tell you something. If I had a face like yours, you know what I'd do with it? What? Well, I... I'd put it in dough and punch out animal crackers. Ah, you would, would you? Think? Uh, hello, babe. <laughs> Good evening. Not bad. Are you familiar with everybody around here? I'm never familiar with people. I'm better acquainted with meat and vegetables. Cooking is my racket. Oh, who do you cook for? George's Laverne. Just the boy I am looking for. Do yeah. me a favor. Say, have we ever met socially? I <laughs> said, do me a favor. <laughs> Oh, well, sure, sure. I'd be delighted. Anything you say. Take this pill and slip in Lavoie's drink tonight. Oh, oh, kit you quitting. I mean, quit your kidding. I am not chinning, neither is this cannon. Here's a pill, take it. Uh, uh, well, that's different. Not you. You're going to slip it to Lavoie, and I'll be right around here to see that you do it. Oh, gee, he's used to good food. This would ruin his stomach. If you don't quit Jimmy and Ogman, I'll oh, ruin no. yours. Where did she go? Uh, oh, hello, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie? Yeah, that's your name, isn't it, Jim? Have you gone crazy? What's the matter with you? No, nothing yet, but later I might have a little stomach trouble. Gee, I feel great for the fight tomorrow. Oh, you're going, are you? W w where are you sitting? Say, hey, are you for schnitzel putzer again? No, no, I forgot to tell you. Su Sue's in trouble. What kind of trouble? Where is she? Uh, out there. You pick out your own trouble. Go west, young man. Go west. Hey, are you trying to put something over on me? No, no. I've got a hunch that guy was George Laverne. That little weakling, George Laverne? Oh, I'm surprised at you. You stall long enough. Come on, take me to Laverne. Quick. I I don't know where he is. There he is. Come on, man. I, I can't go. go.
George's Laverne. I, I, I want you to meet a pal of mine. What's that? What's your name again? Rand. Oh, yes, Mr. Rand. Shake hands with Mr. Laverne. How are you? Say, I'm not George's Laverne. No? No. Say, what is this? What is this? Say, what's the matter with you? Why do you object to being called the greatest fighter in the world? I don't object to being called the greatest fighter in the world. I am. Help me rid this guy. Oh, why, of course I am George's Laverne. Pleased to meet you. What'd you say the name was? Rand. George Rand. Oh, yeah, Rand. I've always admired you, Mr. Levine. Oh, yeah, so have I. <laughs> He's always joking. <laughs> <laughs> you gentlemen care for some punch. Mm -hmm. No, I never drink the stuff. Do I ever refuse anything? We'll all have some. Yeah, we'll all have some. Well, let's drink and be merry. Yes, because tomorrow the stores may be closed. <laughs> the society racket certainly is the berries. After tonight, I'm going to take it up seriously. <laughs> she was only a bird in a gilded cage. She was only a... <laughs> oh, look! Look! What? I don't see anything. <laughs> I thought I saw my old stable mate, Gink Shiner. <laughs> Just made a little mistake. <laughs> well... Let's drink. Yeah, but bottoms up. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Here's to you, boy. Here's to you. <laughs> Long may you wave. <laughs> oh, well, that's that. Yeah, that's those those. And them was those. <laughs> well, after tonight, I'm going to stop drinking. It makes me nervous. Yeah, you don't know the half of it, boy. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Well, I'll be seeing you around the sink. <laughs> Some fun. Gee, I hope it don't hurt him any. Gee, didn't he walk into it pretty? Oh. But what's the matter with you? Oh, I've got a funny feeling. I see you four times. So, you double-crossed me, huh? To save him, you took it yourself. Well, I am going now, and I'll see you later. And I'll see George Lavoine later. You get me? <laughs> yeah, I get you. Oh, Mr. Shiner, I'd like to make a little bet on the fight. Would you advise me to bet on you? Well, all I can say is I'm betting on myself. Do you suppose I could find anybody willing to bet against you? Well, maybe. If you searched all over the country with a fine toothbrush, you might be able to find someone. Oh, Mr. Shiner, do you know I hear the fight is framed? Oh, yeah? <laughs> so is your grandmother's picture. <laughs> Tell me exactly how you're going to win the fight tomorrow night. Oh, I'll be all over them like the hive, shooting a left and right hooks to them. I'll double them up with a left of the alley base, straighten them up with a right of the jaw. <laughs> He'll be duck soup for the old corkscrew punch. It won't be long now, baby. It won't be long now. Get a doctor. If Gink's hurt, get a vet. <laughs> How do you feel, sweetheart? Oh, boy. Can I take him there? Can I, boy? It serves uh, you right, you big cootie. He should have hit you with a tummy horse. Oh, why, baby? Why? You sitting out on benches in the dark with other women. You two-time and snake in the grass. I liked it. I'm glad he stopped you. Oh, stop. Come on, egghead. <laughs> well, never mind Gink just now. He's not hurt. Something of more importance to be brought to my attention, and... If our hostess will permit me, I'll speak of it now. Well, why stare at me, Pop? Because it concerns you. You betrayed a trust. You know what I mean. Yes, I do know what you mean. If you call it betraying a trust because I do everything in my power to help George win the championship. Oh, Sue, Pop, this isn't going to get us anywhere. She's broke the first and most important rule of any training camp I'm in charge of. She advised you secretly and knowingly without my orders. Oh, Pop, maybe I was wrong, but I couldn't help it. I can't stand there and see George lose the fight without my even trying to help him. Can't you see he'll lose the fight if he boxes Bob Morgan? Dan Larkin never lost a fight on a decision. Oh, stop it. Be quiet. I won't be quiet. If he thinks it's his duty to bore me out, I think it's my duty to tell him what I feel like telling him. You started out as George's manager, didn't you? Then you developed a fatherly feeling and ended up by being his nurse. What? You're going too far now, Sue. Try and stop me. Who ever heard of a fighter going to a party the night before he fought the world championship? I know. It's all a big joke. If you don't shut up, I'll thank you. Sure you'll thank me. I'm just your speed. But try and thank Bob Morgan in the ring tomorrow night. You'll win on point. The newspaper was right. You are a clean pup boxer. Here, here, here. That will do. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute, George. Come on. Let's get out of this. Oh, buck up, Sue. I'm with you right or wrong. Well, it looks like I'm all wrong, Sue. I don't suppose George will ever speak to me again. Well, is one big contradiction. Life's a paradox, and truth is stranger than all fiction. Fate's a jack in the box. It's hard to get a good perspective on what it's all about. My point of view may be defective. 
Linoleum? Say, I'll have you know these pants are the last cry from abroad. Yeah, she got a friend? Say, I just did something for you. Yeah, stick up for me? I'll say a grand and a half. You bet on me? Right on your nose, boy. To win? Don't I always bet to win on your nose? Well, how about us? Ain't me and you betting? How much? Oh, let's bet a lot this time. Right. Hey, Bobby, let's bet uh, 20 bucks. Take it, Plunger. Say, I don't like the way you say that. No, why not? You're too quick. Too anxious. <laughs> I was afraid you're going to change your mind. Oh, yeah? yeah? Well, just to show you that I'm a big shot, 20 more. Take it. Hey, what is this? You ain't got no inside dope. Just your past performance, boy. I know how you like to sleep on that canvas. You insult me. <laughs> 20 more. Take it. Hey, you haven't been to a fortune teller, have you? I don't need the fortune teller to know what's going to happen to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let's bet some more. Okay. You can't bluff me. <laughs> I got pioneer blood in my veins. Oh, yeah? Cover that. Well, if you're going to bet leather, there. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. The money I bet goes, but I'm not betting my dough against a pair of shoes that don't fit me. All right. But I'll tell you what I'll do. What? If you're game, I'll bet my pants against yours. Your pants against my... That's a bet. Your pants against yeah. mine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if I lose, I'll have to have a canoe built around me. Or... Well, you and I know the only way George will win that fight tonight is to knock Morgan out. Yep. I'm going to tell George Bob Morgan insulted me. Oh, that'll be dandy. That'll be keen. Then after they finish trying George for murder, we can leap upon our pony and gallop away to the setting sun. Have you any more hot ideas? Well, you'll have to admit there would be a new champion in the morning. Yes, I guess there would be with that. But what are you going to tell George? Mm. How did Morgan insult you? I'll think of something. Hey, why don't you tell him this? Oh, go on. I can think of something better than oh, that. Baby, there's nothing better than that. Take it from someone who's been insulted by experts. Anyhow, I'm going up to the training camp. See if I can bust it and have a few words with George. Remember, whatever I say, you're my little yes man. Kid, I'll Christmas tiger you to death. Hi, 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 hi. I've been looking for you. Well, I ain't been hiding. Come here. Sit down. Hey, how does your head feel? That's just what I want to see you about. That's just what I want to see you about. What do I know about your head? Was you in on that frame up to cripple me last night? Say, if I wanted to cripple you, I wouldn't hit you on the head. Well, I wouldn't put it past you, sister. I wouldn't put it past you. Ah, oh, lay off that traffic cop tone of voice. I got a faint idea who done it, and I don't mean your Aunt Fanny. Do you mean me? Say, I wouldn't stoop that low. You didn't have to. I was standing up. You were laying on the floor when I saw you, and gink, you look so natural. Well, somebody hit me with a shovel or something. Hey, do you think I'd hit you with the shovel? Well, I ain't saying, but on a level, what did you use, Toot? What did you use? Ah, uh, get off the fire while you're still rare. Ah, uh, somebody hit me an awful wallop. <laughs> See that lump? 
That's your head. Well, it's a good thing I heal quick, or I might not be able to fight tonight in the preliminum, in the preliminum, in the, in the, in the semifinal. Hey, are you figuring I'm winning the fight tonight? I'm betting on it. On who and with who? On myself, with nosy. Oh, and I hope that that crack on the dome you got would restore your memory. Why, I'm asking you with plenty of disgust. Why? Maybe you ain't seen the way they got me built tonight for this fight in front of the garden. <laughs> the waterfront terror. Yeah, and right underneath it it says, he who gets slapped. Ah, that's the other guy. That's the other donkey. Hey, Puddinhead, why don't you go to school? Study hard, and maybe someday you'll become a half with. Uh, repeat that last quack. Repeat it. Repeat it. I guess you don't hey, repeat it. Hey, how much money you got left? Oh, well, what's it to you, said he, turning away coyly. Answer me. How much money have you got left? Oh, 125 bucks if you must get personal. Hand it over. Wait a minute. Now, we're not married yet. Are you going to give me that dough or must I give you a sock in the uh, push? All right, all right, all right. Turn around. No looking now. Don't turn your head. Uh, here. Uh, and I was saving that up for Santa Claus. This dough goes on the other fella. What? You mean to say you're betting against me? Me, the waterfront terrier? Or terror? You're betting against yourself. If you lose, you win. Gad, hi, ho, I declare. This is a pretty how have you been. Well, it's better than a sweet goodbye. Oh, well, your footwork is terrible. You're as wide open as Chicago. As slow as a Scotchman reaching for the dinner check. What are you going to do now, take a nap? <laughs> like us and ducking. Say, what do you wear those knee pads for? Every time I fight, my knees get scraped. Why don't you try tying a pillow on your chin? Look, look, look out, now you'll foul yourself. <laughs> Let me alone, I'm winning. C come on, sit down now, and I'll give you the last rights. Oh, gee, Nosey. I got a hunch this fight's gonna be the turning point in my career. Oh, I feel so bad about it. I think I'll go out and telephone my lawyer. I would. Hiya, boy, hiya. Is this the waterfront terror? For one night only. I managed Kid Fracas. I want to look your boy over. There it is. Just giving you a faint idea, boy. Just a faint idea. <laughs> uh, what's a big idea? I'm asking you, what's a big idea? Do I have to fight his manager, too? That was only a love tap. A little bit weak in the kidneys, ain't you? Oh, <laughs> oh boy, I can take him there, boy. I can... Can I? Yes, sir. My boy's in great shape. Why, he's got muscles he's never even used yet. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hoy up, pension. Hoy up, pension. Doc, can't calm yourself. Don't get mad yet. So, oh, you're the waterfront terror. Well, that's just his nom de plume. Well, I never heard of you. Yes, and you'll never forget me. I've made up my mind, and nothing is going to stand in my way. You're coming in here tonight as bad luck for Kid Fracas. Yeah? Yeah. I was going to let him win. Oh, you was going to let him win. Ask Nosey if I wasn't. Go ahead and ask him. That's right. Well, I hate to upset your plans, but I must tell you that my boy has got to knock you out in the first round. <laughs> is that so? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. He's got to catch that 10 o'clock train for New Haven. <laughs> oh, I'm wise to that mug. Just trying to come in here to break down my morality. Yeah, well, if you don't stop leading with your chin, Kid Fracas is going to break down your whole geography. Yeah? Mm -hmm. hey, ain't nobody going to encourage me around here? <laughs> what are you two guys talking about? Get upstairs. Pop wants to bring George in here to get away from that mob in his dressing room. So soon? Sure, the last bout landed in a knockout in the first round. <laughs> and history repeats itself. Hey, Murph, ain't you going to wish me good luck? Sure, hurry back. I think I ought to telephone my lawyer. Well, George, you going to wish me good luck? Sure, King. I hope you're not in debt. Thanks. Same to you and many of them. Well, Pop, any last instructions? None. Except try not to fall before he hits you. Oh, stop. Well, kid, being unconscious is going up. I'll be back just as soon as I help carry out his body. Hey, Pop. Just how good is this kid, Fregas? He's only had a few fights. Oh, he's just a baby. I've had 60 few. Well, he's some baby. Yeah? He won his first in four rounds, his second in three, the third in two, and the last in one. <laughs> Looks like he's going to catch that 10 o'clock train for New Haven. Ah, oh, come on. Well, so long, fellas. Wish me good luck. Say a prayer for me. You'll need more than a prayer. Come on, you boys. Get those water bottles and towels and get upstairs. Hurry up. 
Lie down, George, and take it easy. I've got a couple of things to attend to. Nosey, you watch him. Right, Pop. You feel all right? Sure, I'm all right. Is there anything I can do for you? Not a thing. George, I'm going to do something, something kind of against my own good judgment. Well, what's the idea? Well, it's something Sue made for you herself. She didn't think it was good enough for you to wear, but will you wear it? Will I wear it? Try and stop me. Hot dog. I can tell by the way you talk that maybe you'd like to see her. Huh? No, say, could I? Where is she? Well, don't get all boiled up now, and I'll call her for you. Your brother here? Shh. Darling. Oh, gee, honey, I'm so happy to be here. I'll probably get killed for this, but it's worth it. Oh, George, I just had to see you. Give up? <laughs> you got enough? <laughs> 
Shut up, Bob, will you? Think you can stay two rounds, pretty boy? Pretty good at shooting off your mouth and slapping women, ain't you? Try slapping me. Oh, Bob, you're going nuts. Get out of here. What's the matter, George? George. <laughs> oh, boy, I'll learn him. Hey, you! Hi, Faith. Did you see me? I'm asking you. Did you see me? I even one knows his pants. I saw you done the work. Didn't I flatten Kid Fracas pretty? Didn't I take him like Graham took Richmond? Oh, you poor half wit you were betting on him. Well, didn't he lose? Well, didn't you? Well, didn't Nosey? Oh, I'm getting all mixed up. Throw me a diagram. Who won? I won. Who do you suppose won? The Giants? Oh, Mr. Shiner, you were wonderful. Just <laughs> wonderful. Did you see me? Did you see me? Hey, will you go home? Did you see me? Yes, and I want you to sign your name in my autograph book. Oh, if you'll give me a piece of chalk, I'll draw for you a face on the barroom floor. Just sign right here on the opposite page from Colonel Lindbergh. Oh, what a great break <laughs> for Lindbergh. <laughs> Say, will you go home? Will you go home? Why don't you try? <laughs> it's confusing. Signature. Yeah, you won't need it now. <laughs> that would be super, super flu. <laughs> it won't be necessary. And don't forget, I'm giving a big party after the fight, and you're all coming. Yeah. Oh, I'll be there with my sewing and my hair in a braid. Say, you stick around worse than a porous plaster. You're becoming irksome. Oh, Mr. Shiner, by the way, I won $1,500 on you. What? <laughs> you mean to tell me you bet on the eight? I certainly did, and I won. And I bet part of it for you because you gave me the tip. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I could never take money from a girl. I positively couldn't. The Shiners of Virginia never accept money from a lady. How much did you win for me? Plenty. And we just placed a bet on George.
did you see me? Hey, if George will only follow my plan of battle, he can lose. I had every move figured out in advance. I use my head. The only thing you use your head for is to put your hat on. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, this is the beginning of a new winning streak. Uh, this fight's going to take me right out of the preliminum. The, the preliminum, the preliminum. Whistle it, whistle it. Oh, tough. Hey, Dinky, why didn't you put a piece of raw beef steak on that eye? I did. Well, what happened to it? Oh, well, I got hungry. Now, George, forget what happened between you and Morgan out there. Be cautious, take it easy, and you'll never lay a glove.
beautiful up here. This is the first time I was ever on a roof garden. I'm more familiar with cellars. <laughs> Say, wasn't George marvelous in the fight tonight? Oh, marvelous. I had a tall fight, Bunny, and I understand it much better than I do football or baseball. You don't say. But there's only one thing about it I haven't quite got to see. What's that? How can they tell which fighter won? Uh, yeah. Red Roses get the blue for you. Schnitzel, butcher. Look at that moon, baby. Look at that moon. Uh, what does that make you think of? Love. For a long time, I've wanted to say something to you, my little desert wild flower. My lotus bud. My little orchid. I love you. Picture, if you can, a rippling stream and the moon shining down from above and the birds singing in the trees and above it all the sky serene. What does that make you think of? Love. And I love you, Toots, my little cactus plant. I want you to marry me. I want to make you happy. Yeah, Gigi. We'll have a pretty little home out in the country. Yeah. With a little white fence all around it. Yeah. But what I want to know, has there ever been any other man in your life? Has any other man ever crossed your threshold? I demand to know that. I ask you, and you answer if not. What are you thinking of? I'm counting. Oh, love. Where is my stay? Hey, what's the trouble, Pop? Why this numbskull has been letting people into your dressing room? I'm the only people he let in. Don't blame him. It was my fault. No, it wasn't. It was my fault. Oh, let me play. It was my fault. Well, what's the difference whose fault it was anyway? I can't maintain any discipline if... Oh, come on now, Pop. Smile and show your dimples. You know it doesn't matter how he won as long as he did win. You're not sorry to sorry. Ah, uh, you little monkey, you. You can get around anybody. I defy a person to stay angry with you. You forgive me too, Pop? Oh, sure, sure. I can't take the chance of losing you. Good cooks are too hard to find. Yeah, they all can't make schnitzel putsu. I can't give it up. I've devoted my life to the fight game. It's taken me years to work myself up to the position I now occupy. But, Ginky, the punches are commencing to affect you. How? How? Well, tonight when we were crossing the street, a streetcar bell rang and you laid right down in the track. Oh, Ginky, please give it up. I was born a fighter and I'll die one. Ah, oh, but I don't want to come home some night and see you sitting on the floor playing with blocks or cutting out paper dolls. Please give it up, Gink. All right. I'll go into the business my grandfather was in. Mattress stuffing. I'll become a mattress stuffer. My dear. George, tell me once more how much you love me. Do have you. Do have you. Do have you. Have you.